Hello, good morning. Millions of people travelling, planning to travel this weekend for the Christmas break could face severe delays because of rail disruption and flooding. Andy Moore reports. Well, I'm joined in the studio by Simon Calder, who's travel editor for the Independent newspaper. Simon, have you ever seen it like this? Are there any alternatives put in place for, for the trains? Are they putting buses on, for instance? They don't. Are there people stuck? As far as I know, there's nobody actually stuck. On the upside, though, the planes are running. Yeah, they're, they're actually doing pretty well. OK, Simon, thank you. And just to remember, you, we will have a full weather forecast just before half past the hour. And, of course, there are plenty of details on our website, bbc.co.uk forward slash travel news and we will be keeping you updated here as well now of course mentioning uh, christmas there and it is the last shopping weekend before christmas up to 13 million shoppers are expected to hit the high street so what can we expect this year our business reporter theo leggett reports Lady Thatcher is recovering in hospital after undergoing a minor operation. The former Prime Minister, who's 87, was admitted to have a growth removed from her bladder. She is said to be doing well. Let's talk to our political correspondent, Robin Brandt. And Robin, what's the latest you're hearing from the hospital? Thank you. Argentina has made a formal protest about Britain's decision to name part of Antarctica Queen Elizabeth Land. The Italian Prime Minister, Mario Monti, has resigned. I was just telling you a few minutes ago about the situation around the country, flooding causing a lot of disruption, particularly for people uh, who are trying to travel during the Christmas period. Let's talk to our correspondent. Given the, the weather forecasting that there had been, were people there prepared or was this more than they thought would happen? Are there facilities being provided for them? So, Bethany, give us a sense of how it's all going. The news, let's go to the BBC Sports Centre. Mike Bushell has all the sport. Morning, Mike.